interwebs it's about 9 30 and i have been up since about i don't know like 6 30 ish and i was laying in bed and i knew that the school bus should be coming by right and so i was like oh, i'm just gonna watch my pier so i don't miss it i was laying there for a little bit thinking about it and then i went wait a minute it's saturday there won't be a school bus so i came downstairs and i got around got dressed and everything and it was cool this morning so today i'm wearing a long skirt and i was still cold so i put on my hat and for a little while i looked like quite the yarny little bag lady because i was still cold and i um had my uh hand sponge shawl on and it just it was a lot <laughs> it was cozy but the outfit was quite a lot what i'm wearing is still probably quite a lot. My bangs are kind of funky because I went to sleep with my hair wet last night because I was tired. But I took a shower because I had to because I did my walking tape and I was hot and sweaty. <sighs> so I came outside and it's cold out here. I mean, it's I think it's in like the 60s, but I always joke that we're like trees and it's been so warm and so my blood is running very, very thin and so it doesn't take very much cool weather to make me very cold. Same thing in, um, you know, when it gets to be springtime as soon as it gets warm our blood all starts running cold and we become wimpy about the cold again but you know in a couple months this will be a really nice day and i'll probably be like "Ooh, i work a breeze today because you know it's so warm whatever um so we spent the end of our evening last night me and the kids they were having a dance party we were watching music videos on youtube which they find highly amusing and watching them watch music videos on youtube is highly amusing for me and then um this morning we were showing Steve some of our favorites during breakfast and watching some other ones. I was watching some Crazy Frog videos, which I had to just turn off YouTube. I was like, okay kids, we are not spending our whole day watching Crazy Frog videos because we probably could and it would probably be funny and amusing. But we are not going to do that. We are going to be productive. So today my plan is... Um, like I said, to work on relish, and I think Steve's bringing me in peppers. I already made a doll head this morning, so that was good. I have a couple more, and then I will be on track to be done with those things. And then I can start working on a few other projects that I'd like to get done before the next craft shows. So, it should be a good, relatively low-key day. It's the last day, kind of, of our break week. But I guess tomorrow is, too, but tomorrow is soccer practice, so... That will be something on the agenda. So today is the last day that's like agendaless, And I will enjoy it. And Steve is doing laundry. He's already hanging stuff up. He's so efficient. But he has to try and get it out and then pulled in before he goes to sleep this afternoon. So we'll see if that happens. If not, you'll get to watch me pull in laundry later today. After I filmed that first segment, I was over at the clothesline talking to Steve. And he was telling me all the reasons he doesn't like cats. The musical, not the animal. And then, as I was walking in, talking to him, I saw what you just saw, which was that snake! And I almost stepped on it, and it startled me. So, haha! -ha, I did what I was supposed to do, and I pulled out my camera! So you could see the snake. Hope you don't have an issue with snakes. If you do, I'm sorry! Oh, it's about, I don't know, 11.30ish? And I have been spending my late morning, early afternoon crocheting and listening to Pandora and watching music videos on YouTube and just generally enjoying the music of it all and, you know, randomly searching the interwebs for various things that come to mind as I am doing such. So, you know, kind of a lazy morning, but still getting a lot done and, like, a lot's going on up here. Um, good things, but lots of things. So, I'm doing that, but it is now time for me to straighten the kitchen up a bit and make some lunch. I need to put a pot of rice on. And then look, Steve brought me another Prezi from the garden. He brought me <gasps> green beans. It's like a whole person's worth of green beans. So to make them stretch, I'm going to add them to some okra and maybe some summer squash and some tomatoes and peppers from the garden and make like a stir fry -y thing. And we'll have that over rice for lunch. So it makes me really mad when life punishes me for being fun. So I'm getting snack because kids just got up from rest time. And uh, I could have just had my daughter get them pretzels or pretzels and raisins like they've been having recently. I don't eat raisins, but they do. Um, but no, today I thought it'd be fun. I was opening up 
our jar of banana chips, homemade dehydrated ones. And I had, I was using like a jar with an old lid just sitting on the top and it had a ring on it. Well, he gained like a little bit of suction, so I was trying to pry it off. In the process, I sliced my thumb open, like across the top bowl, bleeding through its band-aid. And it hurts. But now I get to serve banana chips and go sit and think about how my thumb hurts. Yesterday, I committed to a bunch of things food-wise that I was going to do, like, this week. And I was going over them with my daughter, and I realized, you're the ones I should tell. Well, it was useful to tell her, too. But I started on the summer squash. I used half of one of those giant Magda squash today when I made the, like, saute thing that we had for lunch over rice. And we had leftover mashed potatoes from last night, so that met my potatoes once a day till they're gone. And then I put the okra in the saute today, and we dealt with the tomatoes that had been in that bucket and on the shelf. And the tomatoes both, in both places, went into this, which is cooking down to be barbecue sauce. And in the morning, it should be all ready for me to can it. And then the cucumber, ooh, that smells so good. <laughs> that was really delicious. It's gonna smell even better in the morning. So, um, then the cucumbers, I, Steve helped me break them down. He, um, ran them off the food processor for me today. And they became these jars, which, um, have recently come out of the canner. So they still have, like, junk on the lid that I have to wipe off. But they are turning into relish. So right now I have 4, 8, 12, 14 over there. And there's five more jars in there. So I'm going to end up with 19 pints of relish at the end of today. So I think I did okay on all of those. I made some heads. I now have heads and arms and everything I need to put together the dolls for all of the dolls. Basically there's two boy bodies that need a few parts left but basically everything's ready to start being assembled as far as the crocheting goes, and I don't know, we had a decent day. I'm just, all of a sudden, I'm just very done. First, I thought I was just hangry. So we ate dinner, and I got a little better. But now, I am just so done. I'm done with the chatting, I'm done with the questions, I'm done with all the things, and I'm waiting for my canning to boil so that I can get that going before we all go to bed. And it's like 9.15, and I still have to read to the kids, but I will probably poop out about the same time they do. So, I guess I will talk to you all in the morning. Nighty now!